So again, in this, uh, in this example, the main important thing, first thing when you're identifying end behavior, ladies and gentlemen, is you want to make sure you write it in descending order. So I have negative 5x to the 7th plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. Therefore, now I need to identify what is my degree and what is my leading coefficient. So I have my degree here, and here's my leading coefficient. Remember, all we're concerned about the leading coefficient is it negative or positive. This is negative. The only thing we're concerned about is our um, degree. Is it um, odd, even or odd? And that is odd. So therefore, now we're going to want to write the limit, or the end behavior. I would recommend, especially if you're having trouble with limits, to just write this as, oh, it's negative, and it's odd. So odd, identity function, but negative would look like this. So therefore, it's a rise left, falls right and once I have that notation then I can write it from the limit side so falls left means as the limit as x approaches negative infinity which says goes to the left of my function uh, y because that's a y equation is going to be equal to falling or rising would be infinity and then my limit um, as x approaches infinity which is going to the right, it falls, so therefore it's going to negative infinity. Okay? And you could label that as f of x, as y, so forth. 